Texan Global School Two-Dimensional Coordinate System This class analyzes the two-dimensional coordinate system, Cartesian system or planar coordinate system. Lehman establishes that the two-dimensional coordinate system is the bunivocal correspondence, or one-to-one, -one, between the geometric points of a plane and the set of real numbers. The plane is composed of two mutually perpendicular lines called coordinate axes. The line X is called the X-axis, or the abscissa axis. The line Y is called the Y-axis, or axis of the ordinates. The coordinate axes divide the plane into four regions called quadrants. The positive direction of the X-axis is to the right. The positive direction of the Y-axis is above the origin. The intersection between the axes is the origin. Each point in the plane corresponds to one and only one pair of coordinates X, comma, Y. Conversely, any pair of coordinates determine one and only one point on the plane. Given a point P, with coordinates x, comma, y, the distances from the abscissa axis to point P and from the ordinate axis to point P are perpendicular. The regions of the plane are called quadrants. There are four quadrants in the plane. The order of the quadrants is given in a left-handed direction, that is, a counterclockwise direction. In quadrant 1, both abscisses and ordinates are positive. In quadrant 2, the abscisses are negative and the ordinates are positive. In quadrant 3, the abscisses are negative and the ordinates are negative. In quadrant 4, the abscisses are positive and the ordinates are negative. Now an ordered pair is that coordinate where the abscissa is written first and the ordinate second. Each point on the plane corresponds to a coordinate where x and y belongs to the set of real numbers. Let's see a first example. We will graph the point P with coordinates 3, 2. We first draw the coordinate axes. Now we see that the abscissa is 3 units and the ordinate is 2 units. With these two distances, we can plot the point on the plane. We can see that the point is located in quadrant 1, since both the abscissa and the ordinate are positive. In this other example, we will graph the point P with coordinates negative 3, 4. We first draw the coordinate axes. Now we see that the abscissa is 3 units. However, since it is negative, it is located to the left, and then the ordinate of 4 units. With these two distances, we can plot the point on the plane. We can see that the point is located in quadrant 2, since the abscissa is negative and the ordinate is positive. Now we will graph the point P with coordinates negative 1, negative 2. We first draw the coordinate axes. Now we see that the abscissa is one unit. However, since it is negative, it is located to the left. And then the ordinate of two units down since it is negative. With these two distances, we can plot the point on the plane. We can see that the point is located in quadrant 3 since the abscissa is negative and the ordinate is also negative. In this other example, we will graph the point P with coordinates 3, 3. We first draw the coordinate axes. Now we see that the abscissa is 3 units. Since the ordinate is negative, it is located 3 units below the origin. With these two distances, we can plot the point on the plane. We can see that the point is located in quadrant 4, since the abscissa is positive and the ordinate is negative. In this last example, we will plot the given points to define the shape that is formed, and so calculate the perimeter and area. The first point, 2, 2, is located in quadrant 1. The point negative 2, 2 is located in quadrant 2. The point negative 2, negative 2 is located in quadrant 3 and the point 2 comma negative 2 in quadrant 4. We can see that a square is formed. The distances from the axes to each point are 2 units. Therefore, the side of the square is 4. Hence, the perimeter can be calculated by adding its 4 sides, thus obtaining a perimeter of 16 units. The area is calculated by multiplying side by side, therefore the area is 16 square units. Texan Global School Global Online Learning 
knowledge for the world www.texanglobalschool.com